a basic look at various kinds of forensic art. The first kind of forensic art is composite imagery. This is the most popular kind and it involves sketches and there are many different ways to do so. Sketching by hand. An artist can sit down with a witness or victim and hand sketch. As the artist is drawing, the witness can tell them to change it at any time. It does not matter how pretty or ugly the sketch turns out, they must make it as the witness says. Computer. From there, the artist can leave the sketch or enhance it on a computer. New software allows police departments with no forensic artists to use the system to create images on there. This is good for smaller towns. Similarity. The artist goes for a general resemblance, which means that the drawing will never be perfect because it is coming from the witness's memory. They are just looking for key characteristics. Age progression. This is when an artist must make the person look the age they should be. An example is a picture of a 20-year-old from 1980. Today, they, the artist would need to make them look like a 53-year-old. This is important because it refuels fire to the old, unsolved cases that have been forgotten about. This creates media attention. This can lead to leads and have people have a closer look again for the subject. One might ask themselves how. Age progression requires knowledge and research of the facial aging process. First, the artist gets lots of information about the person's life. For example, every little thing can affect the future, such as smoking ages a person's faster. The picture can either be hand-drawn or computer-generated. Children. Children age differently than adults. The artist must learn about a child's genetics, as well as the growth rates of average children. Information from the missile child's family is important for this as well. Facial approximations from the skull. When an artist receives an unidentified human skull, they study it carefully and either choose to do a drawing or sculpture of what the person would have looked like when alive. You might ask yourself, why? This is the last resort for identifying the person and for finding their killer. You might ask yourself how. To make the sculpture, the artist makes a replica of the skull and uses clay over it to create a face. This allows the skull to remain as evidence. Computer systems also exist that still allow the artist to create a face, which is not computer, a computer-generated image. These are rare because of cost issues, but has the same result. Postmortem imagery. This is when an artist takes a photo of a dead body and edits it to look like the person was when they were alive for an easier way to identify the victim. They are a digital mortician because they take the dead face and make it look alive again to be released to the public for identification.